We have in-depth 360 team coverage this morning. We begin with Denver 7's Veronica Costa at Children's Hospital Colorado. And Veronica, doctors there are concerned. They are. Doctors here at Children's say that this spring there was a 73% increase compared to 2019 in the number of children who came to the ER seeking or needing some sort of mental health help. That is exactly why they're calling this a big emergency. So it's something doctors are dealing with every single day. Some some days rather they say 20% of children in the ER are there for mental health help. Other days they say that number can be closer to 70%. And these doctors say we're not just talking about teenagers here. They're also seeing kids as young as five years old being brought in by their parents or their guardians needing some sort of help. Dr. Jenna Glover, she's a child psychologist here. Before the pandemic, she spent a lot of her time making sure things ran properly. Every now and then she would go down to the ER and help if it was absolutely necessary. But more recently, she says that she's been going down at least twice a week to help whenever there were kids down there. And that's because of staffing shortages. It's during those trips down to the ER that she says she's seen those initial interactions and has had those interactions with children in need. Kids are coming in feeling completely overwhelmed, having panic attacks, and also just having thoughts of not being able to go on. And so lots of suicidal thoughts and things that we've really never seen before at this level. So if you're asking yourself this morning, well, what's next or what's the solution? Dr. Glover says she thinks it's all about getting more hands on deck, whether that's inside of schools or even inside of hospitals like the one right here behind me. She also has some advice for parents. She says if you've noticed a significant change in your child's personality, she really urges you seek out your pediatrician and ask them for some help. We're in Aurora this morning. I'm Veronica Acosta, number seven. Yeah, great time to just pause and check yourself or your loved ones. All right, thank you, Veronica. It was back in May, Children's Hospital Colorado declared a state of emergency for youth mental health. For perspective on what that declaration means, here's what the CEO of Children's Hospital said back in May. My hope in declaring this pediatric mental health state of emergency is that the state of Colorado, our community partners, and all of us can come together with a different level of priority focus and a different level of resources to address this crisis. And since then, Children's Colorado has supported declarations from the American Academy of Pediatrics and other medical groups that kids' mental health is a national emergency.